And so, as we said before, another normal healthy need is the need for love, the need for attention, um, the need to be noticed. And one of our favorite tools for that is something that we call a heart-to-heart -heart moment. And a heart-to-heart -heart moment is really just what it says. It's when we respond from our heart to our children's heart. It's when we stop what we're doing, when we give them our 100% undivided attention. It's really about being present. It's really about being in the moment. Um, and so um, what we want to do is we want to actually do a, a demonstration and we want to show you the opposite of a heart-to-heart -heart moment. In this situation, kids with ADHD or autism want to be independent. Try Goalie, the visual scheduler that guides them through routines so you don't have to. Goalie, reinventing routines. Um, I'm going to be the mom, and Karen is going to be my, um, my child. She's going to um, be, how old is Karen going to be? She's going to be my uh, six-year-old child, and I'm going to be at my computer, and I have an email that I absolutely have to get out. Hey, Mommy, 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 look, Mommy, look. Just a sec. Mommy, Mom, look, I found this. Just Mama, remember we were looking for this the other day and I found it. Not now. Mommy, look at me. Mom, look. Uh-huh, just a second. Mommy, this just is really second. important and uh -huh. you are ignoring me. Uh-huh. Mom. And we'll pause. Mommy. <laughs> we'll pause before it gets out of control. <laughs> and so what did I do? What was I doing as this mom? Ignoring her. What else was I doing? Pushing her away and... That what? The work is important. That the work is important. Yeah, I was absolutely giving all my attention to the work. That was definitely more important than her. So yeah, so I was ignoring her, pushing her away um, with my words and my actions. I was literally pushing her away, and I was also, you know, not now, not now, not now. And how did how did Karen feel in this situation? Mommy, she felt ignored, completely ignored. What else might Karen have been feeling in this situation? Not valued. Not valued. Yeah, not valued, not important. Maybe if she remained persistent. For families living with ADHD or autism, preventing meltdowns is everything. Goalie reduces stress by enabling kids to complete routines independently. Goalie, reinventing routines. So she might think if I just push a little harder, maybe I'll give her some attention, which we could actually see it was actually moving in that direction. You could see that, that hit starting to come, right? So yeah, so she felt you know, unimportant, unappreciated, maybe unloved, like what she had to say didn't matter. You know, and this is where limiting beliefs get formed in kids. When these things happen over and over, repeatedly over time, children begin to believe. I'm not loved, I'm not valuable, I'm not important. What I have to say doesn't matter. And we know that that's not, those are not the beliefs that we want our children growing up with. In fact, we want the opposite of that. So to get the opposite of that, what we want to do is we want to do a heart-to-heart -heart moment. So we're going to redo this. And in this situation, it's exactly the same. I still have an email, I still need to get it out, but I want you to see all the things that I do that actually make it a heart-to-heart -heart moment this time. Mommy, mommy, look what I found. What mommy, is look. that? What this is, is that sea turtle. Remember we lost it and we got it on our trip yes, to Florida? the Florida trip. Yeah, I found it. It was under my oh, bed. Oh, it was under your bed. <laughs> no. Oh, you seem so happy you yeah, found so, him. Yeah, I'm so excited. I thought he was lost forever. Oh, I'm so happy you yeah, found I'm him. So too. He's cute. You were learning about sea turtles at school? You are? Yeah. Do you really? know he's endangered? No. Yeah, that, that means he's in danger. Oh, um, big danger. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm so glad you found yeah. him. He's so cute. I know. You seem excited. Listen, Karen, I've got an email that I've got to get out. Do you want to sit here and play with your sea turtle, or do you want to wait for me in the other room? Can I bring it to school? Sure. I don't know why not. I really want to share it with everybody. I think they'll really like it. Oh, I bet they will. Yeah, I want to put in my backpack. Okay. Go okay. ahead. You can put okay. them in your backpack. I'm going to finish my email, and I'll come in in a little bit. Okay. He is cute. I'm happy you found him. And freeze, right? So this was a little different. Um, what was it that made this a heart-to-heart -heart moment? What were all the things that I said or did differently this time? 
Yeah. You made a very positive connection remembering the trip. I made a positive connection remembering the trip. Yeah. So we really connected in that way, those memories. Yeah. What else? You turned your body towards her. I turned my body towards her, so my body language. In fact, I turned it towards her, and then what else did I do? I touched her. Yeah. What else made it heart to heart? Shared in her joy. Shared in her joy. Yeah. I could tell she was so joyful, and I really, you know, showed her that I cared about that, really, from my heart to hers. You know, maybe I cared about it, really, maybe I didn't care about it, but it was just enough that she was so joyful that I, you know, went into that place with her from heart to heart. Kids with ADHD or autism want to be independent. Try Goalie, the visual scheduler that guides them through routines so you don't have to. Goalie, reinventing routines. So, your, your tone seemed a lot warmer, and uh, the other one was more of a cold brush off. Yeah, so the tone of my voice, and the first one I was very cold, brushed off, this time it was warmer. Engaged. Yeah, engaged. Yeah, I engaged. I, I actually stopped what I was doing. Stopped. Completely stopped and gave her my 100% undivided attention to be in that moment with her, with my eyes, with my voice, with my whole being, right? And how do you think Karen felt in this situation? How might she feel? Loved. Loved. Yeah, loved. Anything else she might feel? Acknowledged, valued, connected, yeah, appreciated, important, special. This is where our children start to believe, I'm valuable, I'm important, I'm appreciated, I'm special. What I say matters. And guess what? When children feel all of those delicious, juicy, good feelings, their need for misbehavior, those need for those power struggles decreases, right? So, and the other thing actually that's kind of fun about this is how long did it actually take for me to do that heart-to-heart -heart moment? A About a minute. In one minute, we can make our kids feel all of those amazing things. All of those amazing things. And yes, it's true. We live in a busy world. We're busy. And we think, not now, not now, in a minute, in a minute, in a minute. You know? But the truth is, in one minute, we can make our kids feel all those things. And actually, which situation was I more likely to get my email done? The second one, right? So we can't always do a heart-to-heart. -heart. It's true. Sometimes it's just not appropriate. There are times we actually can't be interrupted. That's where limit setting comes in. And we'll talk about that in a little while. Sometimes we actually need to set limits. But there are so many times we think we can't stop, but we actually can. And so this is just, this, this, is, a great, uh, this is a great tool for your toolbox, you know, not only for your children, but for your spouse or your, your parenting partner or bosses and coworkers and other people in your life of just taking those moments to actually be present goes a real long way.